Virginia is recognized for three and a half minutes. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Thank you, thank you, Ranking Member Fox. The Supreme Court seems poised to finally, mercifully, reverse the only decision in the history of the court that has cost more than 60 million innocent, precious lives, which, by the way, beyond the moral travesty, has contributed massively to our labor shortages and Social Security and Medicare being on the verge of bankruptcy. In typical fashion, Democrats are revealing who they are with their response. Their unlawful protests and intimidation tra uh, tactics at the homes of the justices, while the administration and the allies in their spotty cheer them on. Democrats can't win at the ballot box or through the legislative process, so they try to eliminate the Electoral College, rig election laws, eliminate the filibuster, pack the Supreme Court, pack the Senate, give statehood to D.C. and Puerto Rico, and now threaten justices at their homes. This is because Democrats are the radical extremists on abortion. They've become the party of death. Their position is abortion at any time, for any reason, up to and beyond the moment of birth, with taxpayers being forced to fund it. I didn't hear any Democrats criticize the former governor of Virginia when he said a couple of years ago that a mother and her doctor can have a conversation after a baby is born and decide whether or not to kill it. I say let's have this fight in this Congress. We had an election six months ago in purple Virginia when everyone knew that the Supreme Court would be reviewing Roe v. Wade and the party of death got trounced in that election. Republicans must embrace this moment and stand for life, expose Democrats for the radical extremists they are, and work to end the brutal, horrific practice of abortion. To Democrats, I say, bring it on. Let Democrats defend piercing a baby's skull and sucking out its brains, tearing an infant limb from limb, or burning it alive with a saline injection. Call it what it is, and call them out for supporting abortion with no restrictions whatsoever. Just this week, Democrats pushed another failed abortion on demand to vote in the Senate, a bill that passed this House with no Republican votes, but sadly all but one Democrat supporting it, as they try to ensure that America remains among the most extreme nations in the world with the most radical laws on abortion. Now, this current piece of legislation will permit federal dollars to be used to harm the unborn, as it includes a provision that allows taxpayer dollars to be used to, quote, address health needs and improve health and well-being, and to identify and respond to physical and behavioral health challenges. However, a recent Marist poll found that 54% of Americans oppose using taxpayer dollars to fund abortions. My amendment would protect taxpayers from being forced to pay for abortions, even if Hyde were repealed. If this bill is not intended to fund abortion, then accept and pass my amendment, and I yield back my time. The gentleman yields. The gentlewoman from Oregon is recognized. The gentlewoman from Oregon is recognized. Uh